I'm like kind of freaked out still. Like I'm still kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like I was so anxious for him to come. And now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is going too fast. Crazy. I'm a little scared. Next, Lindsay has a baby. What are the pregnancy cravings? I would always crave a blue Slurpee at Ooh, the gas yummy. station in a Slim Jim. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dancing with the Stars. Watching Dancing with the Stars from home, are you judgy? Are you like planning your net? You are. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very. Hey, you two beautiful women. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. That, it was the sweetest thing. Like, I, I, almost, I was video. tearing up. Okay, bumping, bumping girls here in Utah. Yes. Who would have ever thought from the ballroom to your living room, Lindsay? I know, I just can't believe it. Whitney and I are sitting here, both pregnant, <laughs> chatting. Yeah, with we were just, tonight. we were like, just comparing what? our bellies. I like, know. can you believe that we're, we both have bellies right now? It's, it's actually really crazy. weird. Well, the good news is, is that I'm fully prepared. I know that you're due like any moment. And yes. so do we need a code word here? Like if something happens? So if it looks like I peed my pants, I yep. might have actually peed my pants. Okay. But if not, then we'll just go ahead and just get up and go. Okay. It'll be yeah, great. We'll Sure, on camera. You're packed, you got the bag ready? Oh yeah, my bag's in my room. We're good to go. Just call my husband and say meet me at the hospital. I love this. We've missed seeing you and we've missed you on Dancing with the Stars this season. What has it been like to be sort of at home and nesting and while watching? It's kind of been crazy, yeah. actually. I think for me, just watching it, I feel so proud of all of my friends, like, because yeah. they are doing so incredible and a little part of me definitely misses it but this is such a special journey for both of us and i don't know how lindsay feels but i just feel like just so grateful and i'm just so content with like where i am right now in my life so yeah i completely agree it's so much fun watching and being able to be like on the other side because we can just be a fan, you know? We can yeah. literally, I genuinely feel like a fan. I get heated at the judges' comments. It felt like at moments you gave up. Like there was moments and I felt like your spirit dropped. And then, but listen, I don't want to discourage you because I do think you are a fantastic dancer. It's just so funny how I'm watching as if I'm like <laughs> a fan on a show that I would normally be a part of. I know, of, it so. is really weird. I was going through some of my dances though on YouTube, like I can't remember last week and it kind of made me a little bit sad. I got yeah, like, like oh, oh, I kind of miss dancing. I miss it so much. But anyway, we just were happy with where we are. And so did you plan this? No. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually, yep. um, you know, we got our husbands. We're like, hey, this is happening. Hey, guys, this is um, a meeting that we're having about babies. <laughs> yes. I know. It's no. just, it's actually insane. We've done so many things in our lives together. So it's like, naturally, why wouldn't we get pregnant together? Mm -hmm. But it's so funny because you can't really plan pregnancy. Like, I mean, you yeah, can. You, can't. you can plan when you want to try, but it's not like it's always going to happen when you want it to. Exactly. So it's pretty crazy that it happened for us. Yep both when we wanted it to. I know. And you're due in January. And how are you feeling? I'm starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. Like the second trimester was amazing. I just hit my third trimester last week. So I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable, starting to do like this kind of stuff, like out of my bed. But I feel good. Like I still feel like I have energy. I'm not quite ready to have this baby yet. Have so. you guys <laughs> had a conversation with each other about, you know, we'll bring the babies over, you'll take them, we'll have play dates. Like how are you, like this is gonna be full throttle. Oh, together. Yes. oh yeah, it'll be full throttle for sure. We're gonna take turns daycare like you once a week. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and it's perfect because we have a boy, like a boy and a girl. So I feel like it'll be good because I feel like boy and girl like friendship relationships are so much fun. I, know, I had so, so many fun. close guy friends growing up and so I'm like pumped for yeah. my little girl to have a we'll little. We'll sneak in some dance lessons in there. Yeah, in daycare. maybe partners, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, we who knows. Know. <laughs> Will they be going to ballroom dance class together? I mean, I think. <laughs> Do we have the so next happy. pro couple? Oh, I think mean, it's <laughs> only fitting. I'm like, I feel like it's gotta happen. Oh, yeah, I'm like. Even if we just enter them into like a little tiny competition when they're young, we have we to We just do have it. to just for fun. Yeah. Like we just, even if they don't don't love it, just do yeah, it just, just have because. Do one thing. This is your first child for both of you, which is so special. When you think about meeting your little person and looking at them for the first time, you know, what do you think about? That's like the craziest part for me still. Yeah. Cause I mean, I can like full on, which I'm sure you can too. Like I can full on feel body parts inside of my stomach. I'm like, there's her head, there's her hand. I feel her foot kicking. It's just so bizarre to me that there is a human in here that very soon is going to be like in my arms. And it's just, it blows my mind. It makes me so excited. And I'm just like 
I mean, I am so ready for that. I'm like, okay, I'm ready for you, little one. Let's do this thing. I know there's a lot that I'm not, like, that I'm gonna have to figure out, and I think that will just happen naturally, I hope. But it is really, it's just a mind-blowing thing. It's still not real to me. Like, I, I still feel him in there all the time, but it's still not real that I'll actually, like, have him and hold him. It's, it's just gonna be really, really weird. I don't think I'm quite ready like you are. Well, yeah, I'm you'll like, start, I'm, you'll get there when there's no space anymore and you're I like, know. get your head out of my rib cage. You'll be like, well, yes. hopefully it'll be feet for you. I'm like kind of freaked out still. Like, I'm still kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, I was so anxious for him to come. And now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is going too fast. I only have 10 weeks left. This yeah. is going way too fast. It's crazy. I'm a little scared. I definitely feel like I like that with Lindsay. She's the best partner. Four and one. Nice. <laughs> That's it. Good. What do you think will be harder, motherhood or training these celebrities how to dance? Oh gosh, I will say we definitely got some good practice in with some of our partners. We definitely like, did. Sometimes it our was... job is babysitting yep. and we'll be great and, at that. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and the good thing is we'll love our babies. I mean, I've, lo I've loved all my partners, but not like a motherly love sometimes, so it'll be yes, much easier to handle. Trump. Yes, yeah. for sure. Have you been dancing? Have you been working out? I definitely have not been dancing. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I'm like, I feel like I tried to and I'm like, oh, this is not like, like good. Body this does not feel and, great. This yeah. is not good. But I I mean, I've been trying to work out and lately I've literally just gone on walks and that's literally the best I can do at this point. Well, no, that's good. I definitely worked out as much as I could up until about... Yeah, you were really good. When I hit like 35 weeks, I stopped. But I actually am a crazy person and started filming a workout program during my pregnancy, oh. which I will be launching like within the next month and a half. But I mean, you wake up in the morning, you're like, I don't really want to do anything. Yeah. And you're like, I'm growing a human, that should be enough. But it did feel good to still like get in some sort of physical activity just to help yeah. with like stress. I mean, it wasn't to help me lose weight because that's not happening right now. We're naturally going to just gain weight, yeah. but it was fun to kind of stay in touch with that. What are the pregnancy cravings? Like what's your late night, I have to have it, babe oh, run to gosh. the store? Um, the second trimester, I would always crave a blue Slurpee at Ooh, the gas yum. station in a Slim Jim. Oh, <laughs> and my husband Slim was Jim. like, uh, I have never seen you walk out of the gas station with a Slim Jim and a Slurpee. I'm like, this is just how I feel and I need it. I literally needed it like every week. It was really, really weird. That is so Do funny. You know I, mean? yes. I have not, I'm like waiting and I mean, I'm days away. I'm still waiting. waiting for that You're like waiting. pregnancy <laughs> so hormone. <laughs> I'm a pregnancy craving. Like, I don't know what it is, but I haven't had, but I'm also a very like wide range eater. Like I eat everything and anything. So I don't even know if you could fit a weird craving into my diet because I'm probably already eating it. Anything that you're grossed out about though, or no. no, I will say I'm not eating as much red meat, but not because I'm like grossed out by it, but I crave like carbs uh, way more. And how are the husbands? Are they powwowing as well? Like are they? They actually haven't probably they really haven't. at all. No. But I think the last I... time they chatted was when we had just found out you were yeah, pregnant. I know, they need to get together again yeah. because Carson has a mini panic attack every time we talk about the birth, like the birth itself. <laughs> the birth, why? The birth, like, oh, and I'm actually so calm funny. about it. Like, I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm okay. Like, I'm kind of prepared. Like, I just want to get this baby out. Yeah. And we can't even talk about it without him just freaking out. So, so <laughs> I think funny. he needs to talk to Sam. I don't know how Sam is well, feeling, but. Sam, I mean, I think, it's gonna be more after that they're gonna need to powwow. Cause oh, Sam's yeah. actually been handling this very well. He's handled me and my craziness. Yeah. Very great. Wonderful. We've been together for a long time, so he's seen a lot of the things, mm -hmm. but he's handling it really well, which is good. And I've, I mean, luckily, I'm glad because I think I'm a little bit more anxious about the actual birth, like that kind of scares me. So he, I think, knows he has to be very calm about it. So I think we're just opposite. We I are think completely we, opposite. Yeah. Well, all of his sisters have had really traumatic births, like, and they've oh. had traumatic births, like, in the last, like, two years. Oh, no. So, and he's never seen a birth, so he's just like, I just am expecting the worst, so here we go. You know, but you know what it's gonna be. You're okay, honey. I know, you're the one giving birth. Pushing. I know. You're Passing okay. Out. Okay. Oh, That's gosh. literally what it's gonna be. What has been the most unexpected part of both of your pregnancies? Oh my goodness. I think the biggest thing for me was I actually, I mean, I still do love being pregnant, but I just like, I think I was expecting to be a little bit more like disappointed and just like frustrated with like the body changes. But from the beginning, it was like the thing I looked forward to the most. I was like pumped to get a actual bump and be able to be like, yes, rock the yes. bump.
So yeah. that kind of surprised me, I think. That's yeah. gonna be hard though as dancers. I mean, your your bodies have been scrutinized and judged yeah. for your whole life. It lives. is hard, it is really hard. Especially when you get on the scale, you're like, oh my gosh, I've never been this heavy. But you gotta realize, obviously we have, we're growing a, a human, which is amazing. But it is really weird to see that. And it's true, our bodies have been scrutinized for forever. So it is really weird, but it's such a magical thing. You don't really think about that. And like Lindsay said, like I look forward to it. Like anytime somebody's like, you look so big, I take that as a compliment. Like I'm like, thank you, that's good. <laughs> You're like, that, that means it's healthy. happening. <laughs> yes, I love it. Do you feel that Hollywood pressure of like, how she got her body back? Oh gosh, honestly. Oh, that is the most scared for me. I am so scared about that. I like don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I feel like. I'm so scared. It's just. Like we're ne we need you in a costume. It's been four days. <laughs> I know. Where's the, I need you in well, a naked a, Dancing with the Stars I've costume. I've had a lot of friends who just have had babies too and cousins and stuff and they just like, they just look wrecked. I mean, absolutely wrecked. Yeah, so it's I, hard. <laughs> it's so gonna be really it's hard. hard. But I think like, I don't know. It's hard because we obviously don't know like what our bodies are gonna do. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm like, and I've been preparing myself for that for the past couple weeks because I think I'm naturally gonna be like conscious about it, but I'm trying to just remember like, it's gonna happen at its own pace. Mm -hmm. And a lot of moms tell me that honestly, like yeah, your body gets a little bit wrecked and you might be yeah. in a lot of pain, but like when you see your little baby, you don't care at all. And yeah. I, I do feel like that will be very helpful. I think to dance though, it is gonna be different. Yeah. Like I think to actually get on the show, get in a costume and dance, we won't be the same, no. I don't think. Well, I don't know, I mean, PETA freaking rocked it. And I thought she looked more beautiful after, like her first season back after her baby, I'm like, you've never, like she looked so incredible. So it's like, we just, yeah. you know, we just do it. I'm just gonna dream for that. <laughs> oh, really work really hard. If not, really ruffles hard. look really good on the stomach area. Yeah, right. I'm like, we can, cover, we can cover some stuff, right? Yeah. You just put that nude with the yeah. rhinestones. You yeah, just, exactly. Yes. So gender reveal parties, people love them, people hate them. People hate them. <laughs> mostly people hate them. Yeah, mostly people. Did you feel the pressure to like do something celebrity worthy? Oh my gosh, well, so mm. ours was very last minute, like to the point of we went and got our ultrasound I told my husband we're not gonna look because they're gonna give us an envelope and we're gonna do it with our family and friends tomorrow. And we get the envelope and he said to me, Lindsay, there is no way in heck I'm waiting till tomorrow. If the family wants to come tonight to the house, we'll do it. If not, I'm opening this envelope. I was like, okay. So I'm texting my family, like get to the house now. Sam is gonna open this thing. <laughs> so we did it like super last minute. I'm glad we did. But it was interesting because it was in the middle of quarantine. I mean, my gender reveal was in May, I think. Yeah, so it was so right it's like, in the middle of even it. Even if we wanted to do something Hollywood worthy, it wouldn't have worked out. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to. That was like my excuse. I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, it's quarantine. I can't do it. Did you feel yeah. pressure? Yeah, I mean, not pressure, but we just wanted it to be a big thing because this was just a huge, I mean, Carson wanted a, a son so bad. So it was like, it was a big deal for us and we have a big family. So we were like, let's just everybody get cannons and we'll just make a big thing about it. Yeah. And he, Carson was a little bit the same way. Like he could not wait to open it. And I was like, don't you dare pop one of those cannons. I will literally kill you. <laughs> Did so, you know? No, we had no idea. But when we picked up the box, cause yeah. they had surprised us, right? They like yeah. filled the cannons yeah. with the confetti. So we grabbed the box and at the bottom of the box was a little pink confetti. <gasps> oh. And so and so both Carson and I, when we went to bed, we were like, okay, it'll be fine. Like we have a girl that's so fun. Oh, like, you thought it was a we girl? We thought it was a girl no, completely. That's actually awesome. Like completely. And so Carson was trying to wrap his head around. He's like, okay, I'm gonna, it's gonna be fine. And so when everybody popped those cannons, it was just like, a complete surprise, like That's so completely fun. shocked. So it was really, really fun. Do you think they do that? Oh I don't know. They should, because that's I'm fun. Like, what the heck? I know. I know. It's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, really, good. Really good. <laughs> How's it been getting the nurseries ready? Oh, the fun. That has part. been so much fun. I literally just walked into her nursery and saw it for the first time. It is so cute. Both yeah. of our nurseries are done. And we and had I'm the same so... designer do both of our homes and our nurseries. And they're like yep. the freaking best. I they was, are awesome. That was the thing I was looking forward to most was the nursery. And I have to say, after they installed everything, and Sam and I go into that room and see that we have a crib in our house. It was like the weirdest feeling and coolest feeling ever. We're like, oh my gosh. It's real. Like this is happening. This I know. is a real yeah, baby's room. It's just, it's so cool and surreal. Welcome back to our positively dope 80s night. Watching Dancing with the Stars from home, are you judgy? Are you like, Planning your net, you are. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, Very. tell me about that. Well, I just, I don't know. I, I won't say judgy like in a bad way, but I'm literally watching like I want to critique it and kind right. of like trying to pick things apart and thinking about it like, ooh, that would have been better if they did this or, oh, that was such a good choice. Or, yeah. And then it's also different because you'll hear the judge's comments and I immediately like put myself in their shoes because there's so many times the judges say things and as a pro, you're just like, Either like, okay, You're like, I, I know it. his yeah. frame was bad. We've yeah. been working exactly. on it all week. But then it's yeah. funny because I get invested in it, but then at the same time, like, I'm not stressed about anything. I'm not like worried about my score and my judges. It's just like, I watch it subjectively and I know. obviously I'm like, okay, I would, I agree with that. Or that was so dumb. But then Did I- Did you feel so weird like watching the commercial breaks? Because usually like commercial breaks were like in the back, like stressing, yeah. like, and you were just okay, like, practice. And I'm literally like eating food. I'm yeah. like, wow, this looks a lot different than last <laughs> I know. year. Yeah. Completely different. It's so crazy. I kind of, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm as invested watching it. Like I'm kind of just like enjoying just, just watching it as an audience member. Like I'm not really picking it apart, which is weird because I feel like I would have been. Yeah. But I just am kind of like, oh, this is so nice. I don't have to worry about anything. But yeah. yeah. I'm a sucker for you. I'm a sucker for you. Go and Whitney. And so you guys are fully in your back next season. Like have these babies. Yeah, I'm like, I'm so happy for you, but like we need you back in the ballroom. <laughs> oh, I it feels good to feel missed, that's yeah, for sure. Yes. I yes, have I'm... every intention of coming back next season. Like obviously I can't guarantee anything because who knows how my how <laughs> things will go, but yeah. like yeah. Everything I want to come back, I have every intention of coming back. And, yes. and I feel like we have good timing where we'll have at least like five, six months yeah. to like yeah. get back into that yeah. mindset. Yeah. So now PETA, has she been giving you advice? Not for me, really. I haven't talked to her lately, but she's awesome just like supporting. I know I, I talked to her when I first got pregnant and she was like, just enjoy every minute of it. Like this is the biggest blessing in your life and just been really encouraging and positive. So. Yeah. Same with me. I think, and too, from the beginning, she's always just said, like, you're going to have a lot of people telling you what to do or how to do things, but just listen to you and Sam. Like, you and Sam are the end-all, be-all. You guys decide on your own, which I really appreciate. Because it's true. A lot of people give mm -hmm. advice, which is great. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like, every baby's different. Every mom is yeah. different. So you kind of just have to figure it out on your own. So I'm grateful that she's been so supportive in that way and not tried mm -hmm. to be like, you have to do this or anything. I'm definitely going to call her, though, on how she got back her body. For yes. Sure. We want... Okay. I have a surprise for you. I want to grab my phone. It's on my phone. Okay, I'm going back on my spot. Okay, let me pull it up. <laughs> I love the sounds. <laughs> that sounds oh familiar. Gosh. That is literally me every moment of the day. So okay, here we I'm go. glad I'm not. Hey, you two beautiful women. I just wanted to send you some big, big love and say that I'm so excited you guys are sharing this time of pregnancy with each other. Uh, but I did, I just wanted to say one thing real quick is that it's a bit rude, honestly, with how good you both look pregnant. It's a bit rude. It's, you've set the bar just a smidge high, I think, for the rest of us when that time comes. But that aside, you are freaking glowing. You look beautiful. Pregnancy looks good on you. I can only imagine that motherhood is gonna be even better and I already know, being the humans that you are, you're going to be the most incredible mothers. So congratulations, best of luck. I cannot wait to squeeze you guys, uh, and I cannot wait to meet the new members of your family. Oh, oh my Lindsay God. and yeah. Whitney, so my hard. two gorgeous Utah girls. Oh, I miss you. I miss you out here. Um, your energy and your talent and your beauty is so missed this season on the show. Um, but I think both of you have had some pretty epic and incredible moments in life and in your career. But I have a feeling that this is gonna be the biggest and most special one yet. I am so proud of you. I cannot wait to see both of you become the most beautiful mothers. I can't believe you guys are gonna have kids. Um, but I'm just so excited. I can't wait to snuggle the babies. Oh my goodness. And I cannot wait to see what little dancers the two of you make. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Miss you. Mwah. We're at Lens. Oh we miss goodness. you in the ballroom and congratulations <laughs> on the babies. We're so excited that we're now auntie and uncle and we can't wait to see you and meet your baby soon. Love you. Mwah. Maybe they can dance together. Maybe. Maybe. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Whitney. Hey, you guys. Oh, we're God. so excited for you to experience this little bundle oh, of joy. Oh, my goodness. We're so excited for you both to be new moms. It honestly is the greatest joy in the whole wide world. Yeah, There's so no good. better, greater love than this. It's a true miracle. Yes. Congrats and best of luck. 
It's the vlog. Uh, we'll need it, yeah. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! That it was the sweetest thing. Like, I, I, almost, I was tearing, tearing up. <laughs> I was so like tearing cute. up a little bit. That was so sweet. So oh my cute. gosh, I so love that for you. So oh, I much. love that. That's like That's honestly so nice. the biggest and kind of been like the hardest thing is I like miss our friends so much and it blows, I mean, it's been hard because we haven't seen them. I mean, the last time I saw them was when we all got sent home from the Dancing the Stars tour. But having like, gosh, I'm so grateful for FaceTime and a lot, like oh, yeah. just everything that keeps us connected because they have been so supportive. Like genuinely every single pro on the show mm -hmm. I've kept in contact with and they've reached out and it just means yeah. so much because those are the people that I want my baby to like, I want them to like love my baby and I, I know. know they will, I can't wait for it. <gasps> Oh, that was so, so nice. That was so sweet. Well, so you know, cool. you're like very disconnected yes. because you're not only you're pregnant not on the show, but with we COVID, it's like there other. isn't like you didn't take a trip to go sit in the ballroom, no. you yeah. know? So Which we would have done Which for was sure. really hard because I just took a trip it, to Huntington like two weeks ago and I was going to try and see everybody and they're like, no, we can't even, like Nothing. families like yeah. not even allowed yeah. in there. Like it's so crazy. So it's it wild. was just really sad. Okay, well, ET has a little happy. present that for you. The best day ever. Oh, okay, can't wait. Nice messages can't wait. and gifts. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. No 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 Oh my gosh, E.T., so let's go. I definitely think this is gonna have to be the coming from home from the hospital outfit, like, without na, a doubt. Na, 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 <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. I know, isn't it crazy to think you're gonna have a little little one like that? I'm sure everyone's so giving crazy. you presents, so you're like, oh my God, my well, kid's gonna no, be so cute. No, I love it. This How is, perfect. is it that, like, a little thing that fits in this is right here? Like, literally like, ready I to know, get in the that outfit. Weird? That is so bizarre. Oh my it's gosh, it's so, so cute. I that love that so you guys sweet. did that. I know, that's <laughs> so nice. Thank you. Oh